congratulations on the win against Brazil. Can we? Uh, can you revisit that and, and tell me what that was uh, like and what was the after? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was a it's a, so it's a very good experience for me for the team play against Brazil, especially at the World Cup winning Brazil. So it was amazing for us. We didn't make the second round, so everybody was very really happy, proud about the set because we beat we play against one of the biggest team in the world. So yeah, we just did it. So yeah. What was the um, response like following your stories and stuff? It was just endless updates. But what was the response like to to see um, you know re people's reaction to it? Yeah, ev everybody was happy about this game because we play against, like I said, one of the best team in the world. So it was the big winning. Like I said, we didn't make the, the second run. Everybody was happy, especially in Cameroon. So yeah, we didn't make it, but we was very proud of yourself. Yeah. And it looked like you, when you went back home, there was a big reception or what? Like there seemed like there was my family or something that was sitting there. What's the process like when you go back home? No, to it, it was like you know when you play going some place, you need to but it's just say like thank you for all the people. It was a lot of something like that. So everybody was very happy because I was the first young man who played the World Cup to where I was born. So for me, I was very proud. So yeah. What was your biggest take or what did you learn? What's one thing that you really learned after playing the World Cup? The thing I learned is about focusing 90 minutes, play against one of the biggest players in the world. So it was a different level. So I mean, I learned a lot. Uh, so yeah, it was a very, very good experience for me. So especially the last game against Brazil, I see the, the level was up. So yeah, it was a very good experience for me. Did you trade or get any uh, jerseys with anybody? Is anybody important? No, I think for the last game, I, I tried to trade the jersey, but there was a little bit frustrating. So they just go to the locker room and yeah. New look? Uh, is that? Uh, did you ch change the look? Is that what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I just say I need to do that. It's 2023, uh, so I just want to do something fun. So yeah. Back in training, uh, how do you feel the group? You know, expectations for this season? Yeah, I think um, the training level is high, so hopefully we're gonna have success this year. So I think uh, the young guys, everyone happy to be back, especially me. So I'm very happy to be back from to play with the Sanders to my seven years. So hopefully we're gonna have a lot of success this year. Your, um, as far as your play in the in World Cup, have you watched that? Is that something that you watch to analyze to get better also? Yeah, I think yeah, especially the level, how the game done, how to, to play against big player, you need to focus like 90 minutes. Like I said, for me, I was a little bit nervous because of the competition, because it was the World Cup. Everybody was um, waiting for us, for me especially. You know, sometimes people do not really um, give some Credit to MLS, they always think MLS is not a big level because about the, all, all the players come here. So for me, I say I need to show that um, to the people that um, I can prove myself that I can be one of the, the best um, the best player to the Cameroon national team. So I mean, uh, it was a, a special um, challenge for me. So yeah. <laughs> you, um, how is it? Just curious. I mean, how is it different playing in an, a region that's Muslim versus playing, uh, you know, here in the U.S. or North America that's more Christian-based? Is there a difference? I think it's no too much different. In I think it's uh, it's the same because I always I play every weekend in front of 2025 fans. So for me, it's the routine. So it's no different. Everything's on the field. So I go there. I say, okay, I'm gonna just do it and enjoy it, have fun. Yeah. Uh, when uh, you play consistently in the World Cup and you're coming from a big team. A lot of rumors get started on teams that want you. How do you take those rumors? Do you hear them of teams wanting you and how do you handle that? Yeah, it's always rumors. Even last year it was rumors. So for me, um, I think um, after the, the competition, I get a lot of call for the people. But for me, I just want to focus on one team. I think uh, before, when I was 18, 19, I was very excited about Europe. For me, everything is not about just going somewhere. It's about getting love somewhere. So for me, I'm very happy to be here. If I'm going to have something to live, I will live. I don't want to force everything. So I, wanna, I want to, I like, everything be natural. So yeah, I'm just happy. I want to focus on my season and we'll see what happens. So it wasn't something that you were hoping would happen immediately after the, the World Cup to go to Europe or anything like that or be traded to another team? Yeah, for me, like I say, yeah, it's always good. It's a dream to play to Europe, but it's not about going somewhere. I just want to be happy somewhere and go somewhere that I can have fun. So for me, it's the most important thing. That's why for me, I just want to come back here. And if 
it's the agreement. I will go. If not, I will stay. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. So, so yeah, I'm very open to to go everywhere I can. So. Yeah. When you guys were able to get back together, how was the conversation as far as trying to get back to the playoffs? Like, what, have you guys talked about that yet as, a, as players, um, as far as goals, or, you know, where, where does the getting back to the playoffs get? Yeah, I think uh, even Real Madrid sometimes, I mean, the Champions League is, uh, hopefully this year is going to happen because last year we, was, we won the Champions League. Yeah, the training level was a little bit down. Everybody know that this year, the mentality on this club is always to win the trophy. Hopefully this year we're gonna have more success and try to win every trophy like, like every every year. So yeah. Everybody's ready, you can see the training level is higher, so everybody's proud to be here. So hopefully we're gonna have success this year. Is it the um, the fact that you were won such a big trophy that the like you're kind of saying like the level was down, like it was hard to um, be just as competitive, I guess, toward the end of the season, or have you been able to pinpoint? I mean, I think we have um, a lot of injury too. We miss João Paulo and Obe, so it was a big loss. You know, sometimes when you start with the same team, team eleven, so sometimes I don't gonna say uh, maybe Josh or Daniel, but didn't do a good job. Sometimes it's about balance. You know, mm -hmm. we miss those two players, so hopefully this year everybody are gonna be healthy and involved to to have more success this year. I mean, you're coming from a pretty big stage right now, but how excited are you for the Club World Cup? I mean, you just came from a World Cup, but how exciting is it that you're going to be playing in this tournament? Yeah, I'm very excited. I think always happy to to be um, to play like big competition. Hopefully, like like I say, we can we can make it. Everybody told us say we're gonna go there and no, just go there and try to play one game. We're gonna try to win the trophy. So it's the mentality of the club. So hopefully, we're gonna have to say that. Yeah, for me. Yeah, it's always good to play against big players. That's me. Like I can, like just improve myself. Um, like like I say, I, I have to more improve again. Just keep going. And um, okay, yeah, give the Sanders more trophy. Like I say, um, hopefully I can and put myself again this year and go for it. Do you have to pinch yourself at all before you play them? Or like, how do you get yourself mentally prepared knowing you're going to stack up against them? Yeah, I think I'm going to, um, sometimes to play against those players, you need to prepare, you need to be a little bit nervous. It's part of the game. So I was like a little bit nervous. Uh, hopefully, like, I'm going to step up again and going forward. Yeah. How, uh, what, what did JP and, and Leo Chu, did they say anything? JP said he was kind of prepared for you to do some talking. Yeah, b before the World Cup, Leo Shu was telling me like, they're going to kill us. <laughs> so after the game, I didn't test him. He tested me, he said, congratulations. I said, okay, you need to give me some coffee when I come back. So I feel like <laughs> I'm going to have my it? coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Has yeah. he done it yet? Not yet. <laughs> and then um, when you went back to home to Cameroon, how long were you able to be there with your family? Like just three weeks, you know, in Cameroon, it's like they love football there. So the biggest thing for me, I went there, I'd say with my family, I fun talking about the World Cup and just enjoy my vacation. So it was a good vacation for me. Yeah.